I'll say a few words about the poem called Death of the Owl. In this poem, I make use of phrasal and syntactical repetition to show the symbolic importance Native Americans place on the parts of the body, animal and human. Here, a highway accident I had has left an owl dead in the road. The poem became a way for me to honor and exorcise my sorrow. In my research, for example, I found native legends that incorporated the tail and breast feathers. I learned that mythic characters took on owl qualities. Finally, I found consolation in these stories. Something to think about. If you were to research the beliefs, material culture, and symbols of a religious or social tradition other than your own, what would it be? To what other cultures are you drawn and why? Death of the Owl. She said, someone will come for the wings and snap them off, whole. Someone for the claw, foot of a prayer stick. Someone will come for the eyes, like the woman from Cochi T. Pueblo, who replaced her own with the raptors. Every part will be used. The short tail feathers that cover the arms and torso of Owl Boy, taken from his parents and changed into a bird. Nothing is wasted. No time to stop, I said. Right behind you, she replied. Someone who needed the feathers of the breast to place beside the restless child and induce sleep. Someone who needed the undertail feathers for a good peach crop. I saw the wings lift, heard the head crack. No time to swerve, the bird hunched in the highway, drawn by something dead in the road, before she hurtled into the metal. A shaman who required the feathers for her hair was coming to gain power over illness and someone claimed the remains of the burrowing owl who lives in the underworld and speaks with the dead. Someone who wanted an audience with the bringer of omens, the priestess of prairie dogs, was coming, she said, right behind you.